Okay, this is the setup for testing the uh, antenna tracker and the vector. I've hooked up a screen to the tracker, plugged it into the Eagle Eyes um, ground station there, and up in the corner of the building, I don't know if you can see it there, is a plane flying in, and we're connected up to that. Right, the first thing we need to do with the antenna tracker then is to calibrate it. Um, now I'm going to put a, a, a cover on the lens of the camera because you can't see the screen very well. Unfortunately we have to have the camera running because without it the tracking doesn't work for some reason. Okay we should be able to see the telemetry on the screen a little bit better. I'll just focus on the screen now. Uh, we'll start the calibration process. Okay, there we are. Uh, now, to start, um, to get into the, um, the menu of the vector screen, we throw the mode switch on the transmitter twice. Now we're in the, uh, in the menu mode, we go down to where it says Eagle Eyes Station Settings. Go right aileron and then we go down with the uh, up elevator to tracking antenna setup. Right aileron. I know it's a bit complicated. And we're, we're going to do a tracker calibration 180 degree tilt. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it says pan tracker to minus 90 degrees. And we do that with the elevator control on the transmitter. So I'm going to do that. Let's look at the antenna. Wrong way. Take it round to minus 90. There we go. You throw the mode switch once and it tells us to go to the maximum travel in that direction. Well, it's only a little way. There we go. Don't overrun there because that makes the tracker all confused. don't know if that's going to be fixed in the future firmware, but that's the way it goes. Okay, throw the mode switch. Now it's saying pan tracker to plus 90. So you go in the opposite direction. So if you notice, I've taken the other diversity antenna off the um, pan tilt mechanism and put a fixed omnidirectional. That's because we're moving this high gain antenna around all over the place and we might lose the signal from the airplane. I don't want that to happen. Okay, we're minus 90 now. So, sorry, plus 90. So we throw the mode switch and it's telling us to pan track it to the maximum in that direction. Which again is only a little way, done it, throw the mode switch and now it wants us to tilt the tracker to the zero horizontal position which it's in at the moment but we'll just tweak it up a little bit. Okay that, that should be about right, maybe down a bit, that's it, that's the horizontal position, throw the mode switch now it says tilt 280 degrees backward mode. Okay, let's do that. All the way over. Right, that's it. Throw the mode switch and it says tracker calibrated. Click the mode switch. Okay, so we click the mode switch now. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll do it. Whoa, here we go. Tracker returns itself to zero degrees and pointing forwards. Now, the, if we want to test that everything is going in the right direction, we run the flight simulator. 
So back to the screen. Now you need to go back in the menu. So we go left aileron, go back again, left aileron, and we need the radio control setting. So we go up with the down elevator and run radio control settings, right aileron, scroll down to advanced setup. Hope you're taking a note of this. Right aileron, all the way down to flight sim. It says disable the motor. Well, I've taken the prop off my motor. It's just in case the plane decides it wants to fly. And um, off it goes. So we switch the flight simulator on. You left rudder to return to the flight screen and let's take off. Okay, I'm going to give it some throttle and it's going. Right, let's just watch them both now. Okay, the plane's flying away from me at the moment, so let's go left. Give it a bit more willy so it goes higher. You see that tracker following it round left? Okay, let's go round right. Okay. Oops, bit of oversteer there. Okay, it's going right. Now I'm flying back towards us over the top. So we should. The antenna is going up and up and up. Should go over the top of us now. Or slightly over to the right. I'm not very good at it. It's readjusting itself so it can follow us around right. Okay, now let's engage. Return to home and see what happens. Okay, we have, I've switched it to return to home, so the plane's flying itself now. It's turning around towards us and coming back towards us. The antenna should start going up in a minute while the plane gets nearer. Bit like watching paint dry but I think you can see that the tracker is working it's following the plane uh, so to um, here we are it's getting quite close if you look at the radar screen in the middle it's difficult to see you'll see that the plane is just flying over to the right of us quite close by whoops and he wants to readjust himself and it's almost right overhead so it'll circle around now we are on return to home it's, re it's returned home okay and just to finish off I'll show you a little bit of live footage thank you for watching my videos